So it's time for another brand new LED. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna test a brand new LED using Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna design a very simple poster too. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. all right so here we're in photoshop and very first thing let's create an artboard and for that press ctrl and n and i'm going for a 4 by 5 resolution to 300 color mode to rgb and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create and then right after that let's drag and drop our very first image right over here and again the main purpose is to test a brand new LUT so I'll try to keep this tutorial very uh, simple and short now right click let's convert this image as a smart object and press ctrl and T let's make it a little bigger yep something like that and let's keep it in the center or maybe slightly and yep, let's keep it somewhere over here and let's go over here and let's add a solid and let's give you a kind of darker color yep something like that and let's click on OK let's create a new layer and click on brush and I'm going to use this brush to so select this one and let's add a stroke maybe let's give it a kind of yellow color for this uh, brush so maybe a little lighter yep something like that and let's add a stroke right over here yep something like that let's go over here and let's add a eclipse and press shift to create a perfect circle so here we go and control T let's keep it maybe somewhere in the center let's keep it under this layer and then let's make it a little bigger yep just 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 like so here we go yeah maybe something like that and press ctrl T let's move it a little up here we go and press ctrl and click on that eclipse and to make a selection and let's turn off this visibility and let's click on that layer max so this is what we cut and then let's go over here and let's add a text let's turn on that and let's click right over here and uh, let's make it a little smaller and let's give it a kind of white color yep something like that and uh, let's make control T let's make it a little bigger yep something like that and let's make a one more copy control J control T let's make it some bigger just like so and paste control and T let's add a little rotation and let's move it a little up let's add a little warp maybe something like that and let's click on ok so this is what we got and then uh, let's add a rectangle right over here right and then uh, let's turn off that field to none and let's give it a kind of white stroke and let's make it like around I think I think five pixels should be good enough so let's keep it five and control T let's bring it somewhere over here and let's make a one more copy control J control T let's squeeze it and let's make a box just like so and then let's add a text so I will say 99 control T let's bring it some right over here and let's add a one more text let's add a one more text let's make it a little smaller control T let's keep it right around here Here we go. Let's 
Alright, just like so and then maybe let's add a one more rectangle right over here. Let's keep it just above this one. Press Ctrl and T. Let's squeeze it a little bit. Let's keep it right around here. Uh, let's create a layer max and go to brush. And let's go back to brush again and let, with the same brush, you know, let, let's add a little rotation and let's change the flow to 100%. And with the same brush, let's add some patterns right over here. Yep, maybe something like that. And maybe let's add a rotation in this way. Here we go. And maybe let's add a little right around here. Just like so. And paste Ctrl and T. Let's add a little warp. Let's add some distortion, maybe some something like that. Help to just, just like so, and and let's add some text right around here. Press Control and T. Let's keep it right around here, just like so. And again, let's convert it as a smart object. Press Control and T, and let's add a little work tool. Now let's add some texture on the very top. So let's go over here. Let's drag and drop this on the very top. And let's change the blending mode to soft light. And let's keep it all the way to the top. Press Ctrl and T and let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. And let's do a little color adjustment. So select this uh, main player image, go to filter, and let's go to camera raw filter. And uh, let's increase uh, the shadows a little bit. Let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the contrast a little bit. And let's go on effect. And let's go to effects tab and let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture. Again, let's go back to light. Maybe let's increase the exposure a little bit. Yep, something like that. And maybe let's increase the shadows some more. Here we go. And let's go on color mixture. And let's drop down the saturation for orange a little bit. And red a little bit too. And let's change the hue of red to maybe somewhere on this side. And let's keep everything as default and let's click on OK. And I'm going to test a brand new LUT and it's a windy cine LUT version 2024. So let's go over here and click on, click on lookup and from here click on load. And I'm going to use this windy cine version 2024. So select this one and click on load. Let's add a grain on very top. So select this layer, let's drag and drop right over here. Let's keep it all the way to the top. Let's change the blending mode to screen and press Control and T. Let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. And let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Something like that. And let's keep it under this colorlet. Uh, let's drag and drop this texture in the very top again. Let's change the blending mode to screen. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Here we go. Let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T. Here we go, and let's make a one more copy of this stroke. So let's make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's increase the size just like so, and maybe let's drop down the opacity to kind of 
Yeah, it'll be good. Maybe something like that. And let's change the feel to, yeah, a kind of darker color. Here we go, just to give a little tint of texture. So maybe something like that and let's click on OK. And let's merge everything. Control Shift Alt and E. Let's go to Filter. Let's go to Blur and let's add a motion blur. And uh, let's change the angle to maybe around like 20 degree. And maybe let's drop down the distance a little bit. Yep, something like that. Let's change the blending mode to screen and let's create a layer max. Go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush. So I'll just go with this brush and let's erase some of these blur from here. Maybe let's erase some from here. Here we go and let's merge everything. So Ctrl Shift Alt and E. Click on that layer, go to filter and let's go to blur gallery and then let's add iris blur and maybe squeeze it a little bit Yep, so let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. So this is what we got and let's add a one more text on very top. Lighter yellow color. So just like so. And yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And again, if you want to get this LUT file, please check in the description list below. And I'll see you on next video. Till then, you guys take care, be safe, and be creative. Bye-bye.